ducats. Well, I said for three months. For three months. Well, for the which, as I told you, Antonio shall be bound. Antonio shall become bound. Well, may you stead me? Will you pleasure me? Shall I your answer? Three thousand ducats for three months, and Antonio bound. Your answer to that. Antonio is a good man. Have you heard any imputations to the contrary? Oh, no, 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 no. My meaning in saying he's a good man is to have you understand me that he is sufficient. Yet his means are in supposition. He hath an argosy bound to Tripolis, another to the Indies, and other ventures he hath squandered abroad. But ships are but boards, sailors but men, and then there is the peril of waters, winds and rocks. The man is notwithstanding sufficient. Three thousand ducats. I think I may take his bond. Be assured you may. I will be assured I may. And that I may be assured, I will bethink me. May I speak with Antonio? If it please you to dine with us. Yes, to smell pork. I will buy with you, sell with you, talk with you, walk with you, and so following. But I will not eat with you, drink with you, nor pray with you. What news on the Rialto? Who is he comes here? This is Signor Antonio. Rest you fair, good Signor. Your worship was the last man in our mouths. Shylock, albeit I neither lend nor borrow by taking nor by giving of excess, yet to supply the right wants of my friend, I'll break custom. Is he yet possessed how much you would? Aye, aye, three thousand ducats. And for three months? I had forgot. Three months, you told me so. Well, then, your bond. And let me see. Well, Shylock, shall we be beholding to you? Signor Antonio, many a time and oft in the Rialto, you have rated me about my monies and my usances. Still have I borne it with a patient shrug, for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, and spat upon my Jewish gabardine, and all for use of that which is mine own. Well, then, it now appears you need my help. Go to, then, you come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have monies. You say so. You, that did void your room upon my beard, and foot me as you spurn a stranger cur over your threshold. Monies is your suit. What should I say to you? Should I not say, Hath a dog money? Is it possible a cur can lend three thousand ducats? Or shall I bend low? And in a bondman's key, with bated breath, and whispering humbleness, say this. Fair sir, you spat on me on Wednesday last. You spurned me such a day. Another time you called me dog. And for these courtesies, I lend you thus much monies. I'm as like to call thee so again, to spet on thee again, to spurn thee too. If thou would lend this money, lend it not as to thy friends, but lend it rather to thine enemy, who if he break, thou mayst with better face exact the penalty. Why, look you, how you storm. I would be friends with you and have your love. Forget the shames that you have stained me with, supply your present wants, and take no doit of usance for my monies, and you'll not hear me. This is kind, I offer. This were kindness. This kindness will I show. Go with me to a notary, seal me there your single bond. And in a merry sport, if you repay me not, on such a day, in such a place, such sum or sums as are expressed in the condition, let the forfeit be nominated for an equal pound of your fair flesh. 
to be cut off and taken in. What part of your body pleaseth me? <laughs> Content, if faith. I'll seal to such a bond and say there is much kindness in the Jew. You shall not seal to such a bond for me. I'll rather dwell in my necessity. Why, if you're not man, I'll not forfeit it. Within these two months, that's a month before this bond expires, I do expect return of thrice three times the value of this bond. Oh, Father Abram, what these Christians are, whose own hard dealings teaches them suspect the thoughts of others. I say to buy his favor, I extend this friendship. If he will take it, so. If not, adieu. And for my love, I pray you, wrong me not. Yes, Shylock, I will seal unto this bond. Then meet me forth with that the notaries. Give him direction for this merry bond, and I will and purse the ducat straight. Hide thee, gentle Jew. The Hebrew will turn Christian, he grows kind. But not fair terms in the villain's mind. Oh, come on, in this there can be no dismay. My ships come home a month before the day. 